Hello guys! In this video we will continue configuring Next.js project. Previously we set up ESLint and Pre-Tier. The link to that video is in the description. Today we will configure Jest and React testing library in Next.js. We will use Next.js examples GitHub repo. You can get the source code over there. To get to the repo let's google Next.js examples GitHub. All right, right here you can find examples. You can see there's a lot of examples in this repo, so you can use them to integrate with different things, like for example, MongoDB. Here we're interested actually in just Babel. Right over here. So we'll be using code from this repo. But since you know we already have ESLint and Prettier installed, so we can just really kind of clone the repo, we will have to integrate it in our project. So let's add dependencies. Yarn add Jest. Jest is a testing framework. ESLint plugin testing library. Uh, this is ESLint plugin for testing library. In our case, we're going to be using React. So then we need to do Babel Jest. This is a Babel transformer for Jest code, so we can use ES6 imports, for example. Now at testing library. user event. So this package simulates the real events that would happen in the browser as the user in interacts with it. For example, uh, user event click checkbox would change the state of the checkbox. So the next one would be at testing library react. So this is library for testing react components. Next one is at testing library just DOM. This library provides a set of custom Jest matchers that you can use to extend Jest. This will make your test more declarative, clear to read and to maintain. Okay, and finally we'll need to install identity OPG proxy. Proxy. This is package for creating identity object using ES6 proxies. It's useful for testing trivial webpack imports. For instance, you know you can tell JS to mock object as imported CSS module, and then all your class name lookups on the imported styles object returned as is. So there are, we need to put flag dev. All right. While packages are installing, we can take a look at our uh, package.json and here in our scripts we need to add two more scripts. All right. Uh, first one is a test obviously going to be running Jest and the second one is a test CI. CI flag makes our tests fail if there is different snapshot instead of uh, the one instead of the creating a new snapshot. So and it's useful in case of continuous integration. So when you test snapshot is different, test it fails, and hence the name CI. So now let's go to .eslint.rcjson and we add our configuration here. So in the plugins we need to add testing library. We'll need to create actually a new property overrides that will use some overrides for our testing. Okay, so we'll put this one so it basically tells us what files to use for tests and uh, also it extends our plugin, um, it puts the uh, testing library React plugin in here. So let's save these two files now. So in our root we need to create a new file and we'll call it jest.config.js. Alright, and we need to put the following code in there. 
as I said before, you can find this code in the repo. So let's just fix the ESLint problems here and take a quick look at this file. It talks about coverage. It also talks about the mapper, which modules, right? Identity object mapper. So which modules we're going to use. So it's going to be used for CSS. Okay, so uh, handles import of CSS modules. So we'll have to create this file. Now the next one handles imports other files of other files like J JPEGs. We will also create this file later. Now it creates uh, module aliases. We can take a look at it later, what it means. All right, and uh, here, the, it uses uh, setup just uh, env file uh, shows the ignore patterns it ignores so it's not going to test files and no node modules and dot next folders and then it uh, uses babel jest to do the transformation for the test files right here and uh, has a preset next babel and also it ignores the transform patterns from uh, node modules and dot module folder and it sets the test environment to j just uh, environment js dom let's save this file and create another file called just setup.js all right in this file we'll put the following code Okay, so it basically uh, used for configure or set a testing framework before each test. So it basically kind of cleans up everything before each test. All right. So now we need to create folder mocks, and we can do new folder under mocks and then in this file we will put our file mock.js and our style mock.js that we saw in just config.js so let's create a new file and we call it file mock.js all right and in this file we'll put the following code all right let's link that and save okay the next file will be style mock.js all right and in this file we'll put the code like so and we can just save it here all right now we need to create folder underscore 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 tests underscore underscore or dunder how they call it all right, let's create this folder. Okay, in this folder we'll create a first file called index.test.js. All right, and we'll put the following code in this file. Okay, so let's save our changes. So we see it fixed certain problems automatically, but we also have some, some problems right here. So what are we going to do? Let's just hover. So we have import no unresolved, import extensions, and also we have no undev. So we can go ahead and disable those rules in eslintrc.json, right? Okay, after saving our file, it says JSX is not allowed in files with extension.js. So let's go and change this file to JSX. All right, we're all clear here. Now we need to create another file and we'll call it snapshot.test.jsx. All right, so let's copy and paste the following code in there and let's save it index uh, test.jsx and snapshot test.jsx 
our starter files for testing our front end. So let's go ahead and run um, our jest. So we'll do yarn test. All right, we'll see we passed and we'll also see that the snapshot is created in our snapshots folder. This is great. Let's now create a test for other JS function, let's say utility function, right? So let's go close saved here and here in the root we'll create folder utils. In this utils folder let's create function or file arrays equal JS. And as function let's, let's put the following code. So this is a utility function that compares you know, two arrays. So they have to be equal length, they have to be arrays, and indexes should be on the same, in the same position. So now we'll go to the folder test, and we can create a new folder, which we'll call utils. So in this folder, we will create file called arrays equals the test.js and we're going to put the following code in here uh, so basically there's simple just test cases right here for you know different arrays um, yeah very simple and uh, here I made a note about matchers you know, so expect, usually have matchers to be, for example, that's what we're using, but for more matchers, you can take a look at uh, this URL, jsjs.io.docs.expect. Okay, so let's go ahead, actually, our path is not correct right here. Let's go ahead and change it a little bit. So we need to do the dot, the dot, utils, and we need arrays equal, right? So, all right, let's save this. And now we have a test. Let's see if it's going to pass. And we'll do yarn test again. All right, the test is passing as well. So, as I said, you can use actually aliasing in uh, testing because sometimes, you know, the your test can be buried deep inside your folders and it's usually you know you'll have dot 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 and some more dot dots which is you know sometimes not really convenient so what you can do you can create an alias for this so what we're gonna do we can go to our jest config and see where our alias is created right here so let's go ahead and copy one of them right here And we put do control V and we put pages, so we'll call utils. All right, and this really should work. So, what we need to do now and put at instead of all these dot dots, we'll just put at slash utils arrays equals. So, let's save it and run our test again. And you see everything is passing again. So what you're going to be doing also, you're not going to be running obviously by hand yarn test all the time when you're developing or testing, right? What you're going to do, you're going to do a run a watcher. So the test will be always running and watching your files for changes. To do so, you just simply need to do yarn test dash dash watch. Okay. It passed now it gives you some options but basically you keep it running so if you make changes for example here we'll put true instead of false and you can see that one of the tests failed so it detected now you can either fix your test right or you, you have to fix your code but in our case we know that the code actually this is a faulty test so we'll put it back to false save it and test reruns again and everything passes 
And this is how you configure Jest and React testing library in your next JS project. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next videos.